Hello, this is Mohammed Shakil here, and in this tutorial series, I'm going to show you how you can work with the uh, prismatic join in the DMU Kinematics in KTV5. So, I'm going to open up uh, Digital Mockup and uh, DMU Kinematics. So, uh, first of all, let me just create, a, let me insert a new part here, click on the product and uh, double click on the part so that you get back to the sketcher workbench, uh, part design workbench and start doing some uh, model here so I'll just come out of the sketch and I'll do a pattern for this for the more extent uh, 60. So now I'm going to uh, come out of it and right now I'm back at the uh, DMU Kinematics workbench and now again uh, I'm going to insert another part click on the uh, yes so make sure your new part is not under this part and it's completely uh, another part here and now you're going to insert another part now so this time you can use the profile tool the dimension last one over here and now just uh, break all the bones over here that is a coincidence bones just remove all those bones here so you're free to move it anywhere now select the whole thing here and uh, do the auto constraint here and click OK and now select the whole thing here and drag this up somewhere over here and just come out of the sketch and do a padding for it so maybe around 20 so you have two parts right here now just come to the DMA kinematics workbench once again and now comes the uh, kinematics part so go to the new mechanism you have inserted new mechanism right here now uh, click on the uh, fix it part make this fix it and go to insert new joint prismatic right here you need to uh, select the edges first and then the plane and uh, click ok you can see it uh, has aligned itself to the uh, parameters which I've given and now uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, go to the application joins here you have joins so do a little bit of editing in the uh, prismatic values the length driven just on the length driven and once you click ok you have this mechanism it can be stimulated dialog box appearing so right now you can simulate the mechanism now just click on the uh, simulation with commands and once that is done just move your uh, you know slider back to the initial position and uh, this is your initial position now just move your slider back to the final position move it to the final position now just uh, you know, do a play and you can see the simulation happening so uh, this is a simple simulation, prismatic simulation being done in the uh, 
KTRE5. So if you want the uh, movement to happen in between these two limits here, then what you need to do is uh, you just move it over here and you just note down uh, what is it. It's minus 40. And just move it over here and see what is the distance. It's 59. It's 60. So minus 40 and 60. Keep that in your mind. Go to the uh, joints here. Give minus 40 and here 60. Click OK. And right now, if you go to the over here, if you go, if you try to move it, move, move after that. So you can move it over here. You can keep it here. Move your slider back to the final position. Keep it over here and just uh, move it back. Give a play, and you can see your slider, your uh, you know uh, prismatic joint working perfectly between the limits which have specified so I hope you enjoyed my video I hope you uh, uh, you know I hope you don't you're not having any doubts on this because it's pretty simple and if you if at all you have some doubts you can comment just below my video and I'll be getting back to you as soon as possible so I hope you enjoyed my video thank you